welcome to the garden. Today I'm transplanting some ferns that are just a little too close to the walkway. The first thing I like to do is pick out a location and dig the hole where they're going to go. That way, once we uproot the plants, they don't spend a lot of time out of the soil. Ferns are generally a shade-loving plant, and although it's getting good sun right now, later in the summer this gets shaded out with trees. I also want to watch out for our hostas. Hostas are another great shade-loving plant. I planted these hostas last year from divided plants. I've got four holes already dug, so now we can start transplanting our ferns. Ferns are known as a delicate plant, but they can actually be quite hardy. They usually have fairly shallow root systems, and we want to dig in maybe about four or five inches out from the base of the roots. The further the better, but this is probably all we really need. I severed the uh, lateral tap root. This reconnected with another fern over here. So that's kind of how they sprout underground with their roots. And this looks like a new plant. They can also sprout from spores, but they often spread by the root. That's just like a little bonus fern. So we'll be extra careful with this guy. This one has a really shallow set of roots. I'm actually going to add a little bit more soil. And I want to be mindful of our new sprout and our lateral root. This we can actually dig a little trench and bury that in the direction we could potentially want new plants to sprout. Just like that. Now we can backfill over our roots very lightly. And we want this to sit fairly high. We definitely don't want to bury this portion of the plant. And then we can add our mulch again. I also like to have water on hand. That way we can give them a really good drink right away. It's likely the rest of these are really shallow as well. And plants this close together might be attached. Okay, looks like these are not attached. That's interesting. This one's attached to this fern over here. <laughs> I still think this is enough root to where we can separate it. So I want to try and get as much of that root as I can. It's a little tricky, but I think we'll get it. Wow. It's a big root wad on that one. I'll just brush a little bit of that off. Look at that healthy root system. And they're all sprouting these new plants. This is so cool. Do this last one quickly so that we can get them back into the soil. Ferns like a lot of moisture and a good amount of shade. Wow, again new sprouts look at that this is amazing I think some of these roots are not fern roots yeah those are definitely from a tree the fern roots are dark and very thin except for those wiry long tap roots you can see how they shoot out look at that those are brand new plants this one gives us a nice up-close view of the bulb so to speak this is where those little fiddleheads sprout from right away in spring.
I've dug a little extra trench for our new little sprouts. And I also want to dig one for the old root. That'll just help support this new plant. It's okay to bury those sprouts, but we don't want to bury that little bulb, so to speak. Even this tiny little fern has a little offshoot of its own. That's amazing. Excuse me, Mr. Worm. Don't mind me. Ooh, a little centipede there. Not my favorite creature. Isn't that beautiful? So I hope you give this a grow in your garden. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.